Boom! What is up, YouTube? I blew up 200 fuses. Boom! Yep, I did it. I blew up 200 fuses. I accidentally shorted, shorted a couple battery packs out. All right, so last Friday after I got off work, I come home. I've been having a couple issues with my computer and I think it's the graphics card because whenever I turn on the computer, it almost looks like rain on my screens. And then when the computer is actually on, like the mouse is all glitchy and there's some other glitchiness happening. So I have this other video card that's in this other computer right now. These are all old video cards that I got for free from my recycler. So yeah. So the one that's in my computer now is like, I would have to look on the computer, but it's old. It's a one gig card and I don't even think it has a fan on it. That's how old it is. And it's, it's like, you know, like this wide, you know, by a normal video card length. So I was kind of freaking out because I had already set the time for the live stream at 1 a.m. So I tried throwing in the other video card. I had to rig up some little power connectors for it because this other video card has a little six pin on it. I've never had a video card with a six pin on it before. So, so I found this thing and I tried this and of course it didn't work. And then later I found out in the live stream that I'm missing one 12 volt pin so that's why it wasn't working so anyway after it did not work i was a little frustrated you know getting a little pissed i'm down here on the ground i've got like all kinds of crap down here which happens a lot you know the computers out here video cards other computers because i'm trying to throw a computer back together basically and after the video card does not work i'm a little pissed and i kind of stand up and i kind of trip a little bit and i have all of my packs out here right now which i'll show you in just a second i tripped a little bit and i hit one of my packs and the and it slid over into the next pack, which pushed, you know, it's like a domino effect, pushes one pack into the next. And as I'm doing this trip fall into the batteries, <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, oh, basically. And of course, all I saw was just a little tiny flash and kind of like a little mini pop. So I was like, sweet, I didn't do anything. So I'm down here looking at it and one of the packs is stuck to the other one. It welded the bus bar to the other bus bar. It welded the bus bars together. So I popped 200 fuses and yeah, nothing I can do about it. It happened, Shit happens all the time, even when you are careful. And whenever I set all the packs out here, I almost put something in between each pack for this very reason and then I'm like, eh, it'll be okay. I'll be, I'll be extra safe, extra careful. Yeah, didn't happen that way. Also, during this weekend, our TV went out. One of the LEDs decided it didn't want to work, so it turns off all the LEDs. No problem, I've fixed the TV before. So I take it apart, replace the LEDs, I'm putting the TV back together, and the actual screen kind of fits in a little, like, frame, you know, around the TV, and I'm trying to move it, like, a millimeter. And I'm trying to use my thumbnail, of course, to just kind of nudge it in place, I crack the bottom of the screen. Yeah, nothing I can do about that either. So anyway, I put it back together. The TV works great, except on one side, it's got a bunch of lines on it. So I had another TV up on the wall that I was gonna use for the Batrium stuff and other stuff. So I had to take that TV down and throw it upstairs for now. Yep, so this last weekend was not the best weekend for stuff. Lately, I've been blowing things up like it's going out of style. First the Batrium, but that was kind of a, a little while ago. All right, so things come in threes, no matter what it is. I thought maybe since I blew up the Batrium, somebody else blew up something else, you know, and then somebody else blew up something else around the world. And I thought since maybe we were all kind of like connected through the YouTubes, I was safe. I, I don't think it works like that. I think it's it's per person, or, or maybe if you're closely related or in a tight-knit group closer together, it might work. It didn't work, so I blew up the Batrium a few, what, like a month ago, and then Friday, I nudged some of these packs into each other and blew up 200 fuses, and then the very next day, I cracked the screen on my TV, and it was just like, seriously, like, a little tiny thumbnail chipped off the very bottom corner and of course in that little tiny piece of glass there's like 10 or 12 little mini wires running through there 
No biggie. I'll just find another TV off the side of the road and fix it and throw it up on the wall. All right, so I could show you what I have here and then I'm going to replace some fuses. All right, so here is the top of my island slash work area. Uh, I have all of this out here because I was doing a install guide video for the Batrium and I was pretty much done with it. I was probably going to move these the very next day. And then I'm down here messing around on the floor and getting pissed. And of course, as I get up, I hit this group of batteries right here, which pushed number two into three. I might have barely hit this one as well, which pushed, you know, three and four into number five. So all the fuses on number two and number five, all, they're all gone. All gone so that's what I'm gonna be doing is replacing all the fuses but other than that the Batrium works great <laughs> So this is the 200 cells that I blew up. I'll zoom into some of the fuses if you want to see them. Yep, so I'm a dumbass. I totally should have known not to do that, but I did it anyway. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna get set up here and then change all the fuses. All right, so um, like a month ago, it could have been a little bit more, something showed up at my doorstep. I don't know if it's a random subscriber that sent this to me. I have no clue, but I opened up the box. It was addressed to, I think it said Average Joe, but it might have just said Joe. I really don't remember. And I opened it and I was like, what the? You know, a little confused, but you know what? This is the perfect time to use it. So I'm gonna put it on and get to soldering.
All right, so that's pretty much it. I want to thank whoever got me this Hello Kitty thing, or maybe it was just some random mess up. I really don't know, but if it was a YouTuber, thank you very much. It kept the whole front of me clean the entire time. Boom! And it's a little warm, too. All right, so I got that done in about 20 minutes. Not even close. It actually took me two nights to record it because, you know, you got to move the camera around and all that kind of fun stuff. And of course, the very first one was all blurry, so I had to cut all that part out. All right, so yeah, so if you guys have all your packs out on the desk like I did and they're hooked up, make sure you put some sort of insulator in between them or, which I should have done, but since my packs are in the server rack, you know, a specific way. If I would have laid the packs down so the the series side, you know, was positive, negative all the way down, it wouldn't have happened. But no, I had to do it the other way. All right, so now I can start installing the rest of the Batrium inside the server rack. So yeah, coming up soon. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Um, when I'm gonna cut and then, yeah, um, it's an the dry and 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 pure like it's toilet paper and um you.